Today we're going to learn how to take a series schematic diagram and convert that into the physical circuit on our breadboard. We can identify this as a series circuit because current comes out of the source and goes into R3, out of R3 and into R2. From R2 we go into R1 and from R1 we go into the source. There's one path, no choices for current. So this makes it a series circuit. First thing we want to do is go ahead and set up our components. R1 is a 6.8K, which I've already gathered. R2 is a 1K. And I have R2 right here. R3 is a 3.3K and I've gone ahead and found my 3.3K. Additionally, I'll need two jumpers, preferably red and black to indicate positive and negative. Off screen I have my voltage source set at 5 volts DC. When we look at these schematic diagrams, I always tell everyone to build the circuit like you see it. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with our source voltage right here. So I'm going to go ahead and take my red jumper for my source and put it into my red power bar. And I'm going to take my black jumper from the negative of my power source and put it into the power bar. Let's go ahead now and put our individual resistors on. I'm going to go ahead and start with R1, which is my 6.8K. I'm just going to pop it onto my breadboard. Next, I'm going to go ahead and do my 3.3K or R3. Straighten my leads out a little bit and put it into my breadboard. And then finally I'm going to go ahead and do R2, which is my 1K right here. Now, what's important is that each one of my terminals is in the same column as R1 and R3. So the top of R2 is in the same column has one terminal of R1 and the second terminal of R2 is connected to one of the terminals of R3. And I'll push that into my breadboard, straighten it out. Now to complete the circuit, this is where my jumpers come in. I've got to put a jumper into my positive power bar and connect it to the one terminal of R1. Again, making sure that it is in the same column. And I'm going to take my black jumper, put it into my negative power bar, and put the other lead into R3 in the same column. Now that we've placed the components, let's double check everything. So here's our schematic. We come out of our source through our negative and go into one terminal of R3. Here we have our current coming through, through the jumper, into R3. Our current now comes out of R3 and into the bottom of R2. So we go through R3 into the bottom of R2 out of R2 into one end of R1, so out of R2 and into the bottom of R1, and then from R1 back to the positive of the source. So through R1, through the jumper, back to the source. 
so we have correctly translated our schematic diagram into a physical circuit on the breadboard. Now you're ready to power it up and take test measurements.